Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while, but uh, this time I have a new series for you. This is the pilot episode of a new series that I've chosen to call Summer's Computer Crunch. Basically, what I'm going to be showing you in this series is different ways to make your mining turtle experience more pleasant. Some of you may know that a couple of days ago, actually more about a week ago I believe, um, a mod pack called Feed the Beast was released. In this mod pack, we have a mod called ComputerCraft. ComputerCraft adds a lot of um, computing and computer crafting, obviously, um, to the game. One of the things that you can craft with ComputerCraft is one of these guys, a mining turtle. This mining turtle can be programmed to do different tasks, and some of the pro it, it comes with a set of standard commands. One of these commands are called tunnel. It accepts <coughs> a variable called length, so it, you can tell that, uh, the turtle how long you want a tunnel to be. This tunnel is a 3 by 2 tunnel. The standard program does not place torches, which can be an unpleasant experience because you often uh, have uh, mobs spawning and one of those could be a creeper, it could blow up all your diamonds, all your valuables, everything. So what I did is I went in and I changed the code of this uh, program. I actually called it a whole new command so you can have both the old tunnel program and the new one that I modified. Um, basically, the new one makes sure to place a block beneath the turtle so if it runs into a ravine or a pool of lava or water, it will generate a path that you can follow it on so you don't have to make the bridges yourself. Secondly, it places torches every 8 blocks to ensure that mobs won't spawn in your tunnels. This is very efficient, especially if you want to make a mob trap because, as you may know, the most important thing in the game if you're making a mob trap is to light up your caves. So um, with no further ado, let me present to you the script that I have made. Basically it's called Torched Tunnel and it accepts a length. The most efficient way of doing this is uh, giving it a length that is div uh, divided uh, can be divided with 8. Um, I choose 16 for this example and I'm going to be putting coal in the first slot, torches in the last slot and cobblestone in the second to last slot. Um, important, the standard programs looks in all grids or, or the entire grid for fuel but it's more efficient if it's in the first one. Secondly, it's important that torches are in the last slot and that whatever block you want the bri bridge to be made from is in the 15th slot. So. With this command, you simply type this, press enter, and the turtling begins. I'll be uh, time lapsing this part, and I'll see you when it's done. As you can see, the tunneling is now complete. The tunnel is 16 blocks long and it placed two torches. Um, at the darkest space, which will be on the opposing side, between the torches, we have a light level of 8, which ensures that no mobs will be spawning. So that was all for this time, and remember to like, subscribe, and share the video if you like, uh, but most importantly, the download link for this script is in the description below, so if you have a mining turtle and you want a cool script to do exactly this for you, um, it's there. I'll see you all next time.